My name is Richard Davidson and I'm the founding head teacher of Charterhouse Malaysia. Well, Charterhouse is a British school. It was one of the original seven public schools. It's been in existence for 413 years. Got a great reputation as a boarding school for developing the holistic education, developing the whole child. Alumni okay, have gone on to be Prime Ministers, NATO Secretary Generals. You even have okay, Genesis, for those of you uh, who can remember Genesis the band. There's a wide variety uh, of alumni around the world. We at Charterhouse Malaysia are their first overseas campus. Our job is obviously okay, to promote the brand, to ensure okay, that we provide a quality education. We are slightly different to, to the Charterhouse School in the UK in the sense that our focus is on being future ready. We take advantage of the, of the history and the heritage, but we build on that to make sure that our students are ready for not just the 21st century, but all the centuries that are going to come beyond that. We opened in August 2021 at the tail end of the pandemic, so we opened online. Since then, we've grown to 185 students and we are on track to, to grow to a maximum capacity of 450. 50 students. Of the students that we currently have, 30% of them are international, 70% are from here in Malaysia, but every year we see that percentage of internationals growing as okay, the, the world recovers from the pandemic and people are traveling for work more. Um, we see the international recruitment increasing as well. So for us, okay, we, we start at year 9 level and we go all the way through to year 13. We follow a British curriculum modified for the international market and modified for the future ready aspects okay, that we, we want to develop. In our year nine, which is the, the youngest year group, we are preparing students for the IGCC and the A-level examinations. The IGCC is a two-year program for year 10 and 11 and A-levels is a two-year program for year 12 and 13. If we take a look, for example, okay, at the, the year nine, the IGCC foundation, there are two pathways in there. One pathway is for those who are already fluent with English and then there's the other pathway okay, where they need in intensive English support. So essentially okay, they take the same academic program but okay, we include an additional English teacher in every single lesson. So they're getting okay, that English support right the way through. In addition okay, to having support in their science class or their history class okay, or their math class, they will have an English as an additional language lessons where they okay, will have a focus on the basics. There will be some okay, where that support will happen within the normal lessons through differentiation, sometimes okay, it might be that they have to have a specific English class to do that. When you then come to year 12, which is the beginning of the A-level program, it's a lot more challenging okay, to offer the English support. We do have some students okay, where their level of English is not perhaps as good as other students, but it's still significantly better than someone who might be in year 10 and year 11. Because the level at okay, A-level is so much higher, you can't do it without a very, very good grounding. So for us, okay, the, the academic results here are exceptional. Globally, okay, we are one of the top schools for academic performance. But academic performance alone, it doesn't get students into the best universities. It's all the extra things that we do that provide them with the platform to go to the top universities. And our students go to the top universities. So we've got students going off to the USA. Some, okay, have gone to Hong Kong, to Australia, to Japan, to the UK. So that they go pretty much, okay, anywhere. But the other thing, okay, that's really important to note is it, it's not always about the reputation of the university. But also for the students, we have to be looking at what is the best university for them. And if you've got someone who's interested in fashion, then you're likely to want to go to an Italian fashion school or a Paris fashion school. Like if you want to study anime, right, you're not going to go to the UK to do that, you would go to Japan. So we have in school a program called Ignite, which is all about developing an understanding of what the students' passions are. And then okay, putting together a plan of action that will help them develop what they need to be the best best possible candidate for that university. Obviously top academic grades is important, but you know, internship opportunities. So we will facilitate those types of things. We do projects with our students where it's not just about academic research, academic writing. We ask them to identify a real world problem, solve that problem, and then implement that problem in the community. And it's those kind of people that universities are, are looking for. So our Ignite program, our Future Ready program, develops students to, to be the best versions of themselves. Hence the reason the pathways are always to the best universities. The main emphasis really needs to be on two things. The first one is looking at their potential. So we do something called a CAT4 test. It's a cognitive ability test that everybody has to do. It assesses four areas of cognitive ability. What we are looking for is to see students that would be in the average to above average range. And the CAT4 is a test that benchmarks against students of the same age from around the world. 
And then the other thing actually that you really look at is their track record. We then actually conduct an interview and it's really important to have the interview because what you see on paper isn't necessarily always accurate. So we actually want to get to know the student a little bit. So we have an interview where okay, we can explore things a little bit more in depth which is very similar to some universities, you know, they will do the interviews for the same reason, to try and make sure, okay, okay, they may not have the best grades, but something may have happened, all right? And it doesn't define who they are, we need to maybe give them a second chance. And if we give them a second chance, how can we help them and how can we support them? My name is Funko, but you can call me Candy, C-A-N-D-Y. I'm 15 years old and I come from China. I entered the school in year 2022 and I am currently in year 11. Firstly, we toured the school, and it's like if we discovered that the school not only focused on the students' academics, but also it's like mental health and outside extracurricular activities. And we really like this school as how organized the school is, and there's plenty of space for students' creativity, as well as leadership skills and other like important skills that you need for your life. Overall, I feel really good and really very appreciative that I can study in this school. Firstly, because the teachers are very nice. Instead of, it's like classifying teachers as teachers and students as students, it's like teachers and students talk to each other, it's like enjoy activities as if they're friends. And secondly, the school offers us where it's like various of opportunities for joining extracurricular events as well as is like leading your own societies and clubs as well as organizing your own events for example we have a student cafe called Brewpot where it's like entirely run by students students sell things students organize all the activities creating it's like posters and managing events it's all led by students and the school also gives us lots of resources. As you can see here, there's the laser cutter. Here's 3D printer, which means that it's like you can do all kinds of STEM projects in this school with support of it's like stuff outside of the school as well as inside the school. Coming to this school, you have to be prepared. It's like to use all the skills you have in this school. For example, leadership, creativity, since there's lots of space where you can use all of these skills, as well as it's like participate in all sorts of extracurricular activities organized by the school, as they are really, really helpful in your studies, as well as it's like gaining experience in different it's like kind of fields. And also it's like use the resources provided by the school. Because just do not buy, for example, it's like if you want to create three models, use the printer. I think this school is very open. We can do all sorts of stuff here. And the students are very nice. The main difference between this school and other schools is that all students from the same year group is like join all sorts of activities together. So it's like there's a mix between different classes or different tutor groups. So it's like all students know each other and they get a chance to work in groups, which is like pretty rare in other schools. As well as it's like the tutors are very helpful. It's like if you have any problems, they always contact it's like your parents in the first place so that it's like the problems can be solved. As well as the teachers are very supportive. If you have any questions, just ask them, ask them and they will always help reach out and it's like help you.